Hello and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see I have been building a little camper trailer to go along with the uh, Land Rover, the budget Land Rover build. So yeah this is my first attempt at ever building something like this. Uh, it's made from uh, mostly thin plywood. Uh, this stuff here, it's uh, just a uh, couple of mil thick plywood. The base of it, the very bottom, is a piece of MDF, which probably wasn't the best choice. Uh, MDF isn't great for holding screws. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was just really, it just started off experimenting. I wanted some sort of trailer. And it evolved into what you see here. Like I said, the bottom of it is uh, MDF. The tow hitch is a combination of that thin plywood and a piece of bent metal, which is attached to it. So it's a little bit flexible, but... It was cheap, so uh, that's good enough for me. The axle is a length of a 4mm M4 threaded rod, which passes through a length of M5 brass tube. So the, the two wheels are locked together, which isn't perfect, but it was the cheapest way I could do it. And then I just have these little clamps holding the brass rod in place. Around the back here I have an opening door. Uh, I have a load of stickers and stuff stuck on it there just to try to try and uh, make it a bit more realistic. So I, I need to put some sort of handle here because I'm actually starting to chip the paint off with my fingernail <laughs> trying to get this, this back door open. So I have it held closed with uh, magnets, so there's four magnets, which is what holds it closed, and then I have a couple of little chains, just to hold it level once it drops open. And there's nothing in here at the minute, I want to put some scale accessories in here, but I have a little shelf that comes out here, and then there's a big hole in underneath, and in there I have, a USB power bank which runs as LEDs for the interior lights at the front here uh, I have added some uh, grab handles just for another little bit of uh, realism this box uh, wasn't originally there but uh, what I failed to incorporate into the design was the balance of the trailer so before I put this box on it was uh, very tail heavy so the wheels the wheels don't actually sit right in the very center of the the camper so I can't move them back any further because of the door. So I had to put some weight up the front because it was just lifting the suspension of the Land Rover and then it was <laughs> driving along like that. So I put this box on the front of it which is full of lead. Basically I used some uh, lead flashing that you would put around your roo the roof tiles which is all sort of folded up and that's full of it so there's i don't know what sort of weight i didn't weigh it so but it, it has balanced the truck out or the trailer out a lot so now if you lean it forward it stays forward if you lean it back it stays back so it's pretty good pretty well balanced it is actually sort of nose heavy which uh, allows it to ride level once it's attached to the Land Rover. I added this little gas bottle to the front hitch, which uh, just another little bit of uh, scale realism. I got this uh, 
gas bottle on eBay. I added a little bit of rubber hose myself, which sort of disappears down underneath the trailer. And I put the little chain on myself as well. And on the sides, I have this uh, door here, which doesn't open. Uh, I have a little, a couple of little hinges here, but through the door is made out of the same type of wood. The hinges are actually uh, barbecue skewers painted silver <laughs> so that yeah that doesn't open it's just there for looks the logo on the side of it is actually painted on so I downloaded an image off the, the internet printed it out on paper and then I cut the the mountains out of the paper with a, a scalpel and then uh, yeah glued it down spread it pulled it off so yeah, really, really happy with that. It turned out really nice. So this door into the camper does open. And I also have a removable roof. So that I can get my hand inside to uh, move stuff about and set up my characters and stuff. This uh, tube on the side here isn't... Uh, an awning which is probably what most people think it is when they look at it so uh, if I take the cap off here I tilt it forward give it a little shake and inside I have two fishing rods I made these two little fishing rods myself. Again, they're made out of uh, barbecue skewers. The little rails on it are made from styrene, and the hooks are also made from styrene. Piece of thread, and I went as far as making little uh, floats for the end of them. So the windows are made from thin plastic packaging. I think it came off one of the kids' toys or something. So yeah, just use this, them and I put a frame around the edge of the windows just using thin styrene again, which is painted black. Removing the roof section allows me access to the inside. So it's not a very good angle here, but I have uh, kitchen cupboards. None of the cupboards open, uh, so they are just, it's, again it's made out of the same thin plywood. Get you a better angle there, so I have a tall cupboard here, and then I have a, a worktop that goes right to the front. And little sink. The sink is made out of a, a marmalade sachet, it's the same as I made the sink for my scale garage in the loft. Uh, more cupboards along the bottom there. I uh, have a little plant sitting on the worktop here. It's another little dollhouse item. The curtains are made from paper. I just printed the pattern on both sides of a plain piece of paper and then folded it into a fan shape. Punched a hole in the top and then fed it onto this uh, metal reel which is then glued to the side wall. Along the opposite wall here I have a bench seat with uh, removable covers or removable cushions and that actually uh, pulls out into a bed. So uh, I'll show you that now. It's a little bit awkward for me because my hand's too big <laughs> to get in there. So. Okay, that's it pulled out. So my cushions, this back cushion is actually stuck on with a piece of double-sided tape. Uh, I do plan on fitting a magnet to that. So yeah, again, my cushions are just the same plywood. 
This one is two bits of wood thick and this one down there is a single piece thick. And it can drop that in. And there we have our drop down bed or pull out bed. And the whole trailer was modelled or scaled for my 7 inch figures. And just above Ice's head, I know it's quite hard to see, I have a shelf there. And on the shelf I have a couple of boxes of cereal, a couple of Coke bottles and then a selection of books. Which are all glued into place and I have a glamour calendar on the wall there just beside Ice's head. Which is actually displaying the right month and year. And on the back wall here I have a, a television, a TV, flat screen TV. That's a slightly better look at it there. So yeah, it's another uh, dollhouse item. It doesn't do anything. It's just a black plastic screen on it. But it does have some nice little details on it. Like uh, the functions and stuff along the bottom there. The brand names. Uh, it did have a stand on it. Uh, but I sliced that off just so I could mount it on the wall there. And I made this little camping stove. Uh, to add a little bit of realism again um, it's made from thin styrene and then painted and a bit of weathering done on it so I was really happy how that turned out it's my first time trying to build something so intricate uh, it was fiddly to do but yeah, really happy with how it turned out. So that sits just on the the work surface there. And I do plan on getting some uh, little dollhouse pots and pans that I can set on there for taking pictures and stuff. Really the only thing left to show you is the LED lights working. So the camera thermal control press the on button turn off my lights at the back here so I have all the lights in the room turned off now just the lights uh, shining in the trailer and because it came with this remote control I can have all types of uh, colors And I can even have uh, flashing disco lights, <laughs> different sequences of uh, flashing there as well, which is a cool feature. So that's it. That is my scratch built uh, camping overland camping trailer. I have uh, magnets on the door here as well. Just to hold that shut and it, there's a couple of magnets on the the panel for the roof as well to hold it on so that's it i hope you enjoyed looking at that uh, if you have any suggestions uh, if you spotted something and you have any questions about it please let me know i just fix my curtains here <laughs> uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed uh, doing this. It's been quite a lot of work and it's been a learning experience. But I think I'm going to build another one. I'm actually hoping to build the same sort of thing, only slightly bigger uh, for my next project. So I'll leave you with a few photographs, high res photographs. Because I can get the camera in better just for a quick photo than I can trying to video it. So thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.